Hey guys, how you doing and welcome to the Drone Zone. Today I wanted to do a quick video to show you how you can get FPV out of your GoPro or GoPro clone in this case because this is the FlyPro uh, X Eagle camera. I just quickly stole it off there for a guy I got the um, X Eagle to review so I thought I'd use the FlyPro camera, see how good it is and it can obviously be used as FPV by this mini USB slot here which I'm going to show you. So what you're going to need for this is your GoPro or GoPro clone obviously, um, the receiver which is here off screen, um, the monitor to receive the signal or goggles if you're going to be using them, and then a transmitter. So this is the TS, if it'll focus, TS5823S. It's 40 channels and it's 5.8 gigahertz and it's absolutely miniature. It only weighs a couple of grams um, and probably only a couple more with the antenna on there. So this isn't going to weigh a massive amount and it's not going to add um, an unconsiderable amount to your quadcopter, I'd say, to add FPV. Probably only want to be looking to do this on um, the larger quadcopters or the heavy, more standard racers, um, maybe the 250 racers as opposed to the um, small 150 Walkera Rodeo. I know that probably won't be able to lift a GoPro, but anything that can lift a GoPro can probably lift this. Uh, so you're probably looking at more of a large quadcopter or a heavy racer. Okay, so the transmitter comes with this cable here, which has got the JST connector for a battery, um, the power supply and video out cables to the transmitter, and this tiny little USB micro, or mini it might even be, I always get them mixed up, mini or micro, I think it's mini USB, which will plug into the GoPro clone. So first of all, what you want to do is plug this white one here, which is the uh, power in and video out, into the transmitter. Make sure you get it the right way around. Uh, and then that just slots in there like that. So this is going to be powering out the transmitter and sending your video out. You can plug the um, little mini USB into the GoPro clone like that. Now the unfortunate thing is, this is on, you'll see there's no light on here, which means that the GoPro itself can't power this. So you're going to have to be using an external battery. Um, I've just got a little 500 milliamp one here. I'd probably suggest something smaller because um, it'll probably last longer and also it'll be a lot less heavier on your quadcopter. So if we plug that in, we now see that the just about see that there's the red LED flashing on there. Um, obviously there's no card in here it says, but that doesn't matter because this is going to be doing FPV, so we don't need to record anything for that at the moment. So now if we off screen just plug our receiver in, um, then this turns on and you'll see, there we go, we've got it, although my hand's completely covering up the camera. We've got the uh, receiver plugged in and the receiver is hooked up to our external monitor, or goggles in this case. I actually got this monitor from my um, Quantum V2 goggles. Um, I've not taken the sticky plastic off yet. Uh, I'll do that later. So here we go, that's it working. You can see there's me there sporting an Arctic, Arctic Monkeys t-shirt. Um, and yeah, this is FPV from your GoPro or GoPro clone. And it's that simple. All you need is this tiny little transmitter, um, a battery, which you've probably already got a battery like this and then obviously the receiver and the FPV monitor. So that was a very quick video just to show you how it all works. Um, compatibility between these two things, this is a 32 channel and this is a 40 channel so to be honest most times nowadays you don't really need to worry about if it will be compatible or not because chances are if it's 40 or even 32 channels it definitely will be um, because there's so much overlap there whereas if it's only say an 8 channel or a 4 channel uh, you'll probably want to check that out first but as I say 40 channel, 32 fat channel you should be fine uh, with them overlapping and getting the frequencies right. So anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll leave links in the description to all the transmitters and receivers and everything I've used in this video. Um, yeah, and that's it. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you next time.